All right, guys, I am back and I decided to go ahead and do like the fun stuff of filling the journal on camera because I think that's what we all wait for, right? Um, so yeah, let's get gluing. Um, some of these I think I'm going to put on the back side because some of those pages aren't as decorative. I mean, they kind of are, but I think it'll still be okay. So I like to space my pockets. I think maybe I'll put it on this one. So this little guy that we made here, I wanted to put on as a side tuck, but it's gonna be interesting on how we glue it. Okay, so hi, hope everybody's doing okay. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, um, I think do that right there. okay sorry I was just making sure I knew where to glue I think I might have a date tonight I don't know we kind of set it up and then I don't know he was kind of seemed a little flaky this morning so we'll see then it'll open up like so it can be written on yeah how cute is this gonna be okay Let's make sure none of that got glued okay and I'm gonna pop that over and we're just gonna paper clip it again for now and then we'll put something in that back top spot okay so then I like to kind of evenly space them so let's see what we got for this side. Let's see those. I think we're just going pockets here and there. Let's put that one here. And yep, it's going all the way around. Gosh, some of these pockets just turned out so dang cute, didn't they? I like them. some paper towel with that one. What did I do with my paper towel I had earlier? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, I know I had it earlier. Yep, I think as soon as we have this journal done, because I'm going to do a specialty tag, and I might go ahead and do, um, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I, for a while I was kind of doing those mop-up videos. I think that's when I'll make the tag for the front. Let's go back here to this pocket and stick this in here. We won't stick it in the pocket yet, just so that it can dry. But then, let's see. Let's see the little pocket, maybe? No, it's got a little. Hold on, sorry guys, got a little distracted. Um, let's go ahead and do a small pocket here. So that was gonna be a side tuck, right? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, what was I saying? Hmm. I don't remember. One of those pockets also has to go on the other side of the journal, too. And I think it's that one that we use the tiles on. Oh my goodness, I love this journal so much already. <laughs> it's not even done yet. Oh, but what I was saying, specialty tag on the front. Um, I'm thinking it's this one that has to. Yes, this is the one that has to go on this side. And since it's so heavy, normally I would kind of maybe do like a tuck for this side, but I'm going to go ahead and glue the whole thing. Um, this whole flap down because it's so heavy with those um, block letterings. So it's still obviously going to flip, but it's so heavy that yeah, that'll be fine. 
time. Okay, and then it'll flip open. Okay. Oh, and it smells good because this is that Kool-Aid paper. Okay, let's do... I think I probably better do this one on maybe one of these fuller papers. Or I didn't do any pockets on these. Maybe we'll glue that one since it's so big. In the back pocket here. Let's see this one. Are we gonna need more pockets? Oh darn, we're gonna need another pocket. Okay, so we'll put that one on the back cover. So then, because where's the front here? Yeah, we need another. Yeah, we'll need another pocket. Let's put this guy here. Where do we like this one here? I like that one there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the side tuck thing on this one as well. This one is also the side tuck, so I want to go down here. Okay, then I'm going to switch glues real quick and we'll glue that back one down. And then we'll figure out what we want to do for that other front pocket. really don't know. One hand it never works. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna switch to Fabri-Tac because I like the way it glues to fabric. <laughs> Imagine that, right? I just like it for paper to fabric better than you have to use a lot of that um, art glitter glue if you want it to stick down. Okay. And I'm 99% sure that I used all the pockets from the kit. So... I will probably pause the video here in a second. We'll go back through and fill these pockets now that they're getting dry. Oh, you know what actually might be kind of cute? Would that be cute if we turned this into a pocket? And then it's kind of like, I think it would. Okay, never mind. Never mind. How about that? <laughs> I love it when things come together. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it as like an entire pocket, not just a tuck. Oh my goodness, see how it all comes together? There, and then the new owner has a pocket and a little thing right up front. Oh my goodness, I love it, okay. So let's get to putting that stuff in those pockets. That one is done. Okay, and this one is now complete. This one, we need a big one. So let's see if one of these works. But I'm thinking maybe a different color, maybe a little bit lighter. Bring some color in there. Okay. okay, and these tags, I 
Nope, we were going to do little ones for that. I've got some little, little somethings here. Put that one there. Those there. And then, bring this big one back here. Or, whoop. one. No, I like the smaller one. Okay, let's throw some ink on it. There's the <clears throat> walnut stain. Big one for back here. Big bright dragonfly. Ooh, ooh. This one is complete. This one, we're going to need another big card back there. I'm just going to make sure everything looks good. This folds open. Yeah, okay. Let's put a big card back there. What about this one? Should fit right back in there. Maybe. Nope, a little too big. We have a slender one, or maybe a tad. Oh, here's one. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Have another one back here. That one. Is that it? Okay, so then we need a tag for this one, and I've got some tall ones. Bookends. I do have that. It seems to almost fit perfect, huh? So, what are these blue ones? Yep, I like the blue. It kind of offsets things. Okay. All right. Now for a special one up here front. Um, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do for that. And technically, we could just make a couple of tags and stick them in these two pockets. And then there's two in the back, which I was going to fold some paper and just put those in there for that. But we just have to see. All right, so I'm gonna pause for a second. Uh, I'm gonna kinda get some ideas rolling around in my brain and I will be right back, guys. Okay, I am back from that pause and I loaded videos and it was taking forever. So I just went ahead and finished up the journal. Um, so yeah, we'll do a quick flip through and then you should be seeing this Sunday. So it'll be loaded. Um, probably Sunday morning, late Saturday night, Sunday morning time um, in my Etsy shop, which will be linked down below. I know, kind of crazy. I haven't loaded anything in my shop in like forever. But, okay, so this is what I came up with for the front. Again, another cute little booklet here. And then we have a tag from the kit and one of the ephemera pieces and a cute little tag there. And then, because I thought that was so stinking cute, the tag booklet, I added another one on the back. So, yep, yeah, same thing, just different decorations from the kit. And then, using up scraps, I did this cute little booklet here. I have no idea why I'm, like, addicted to booklets all of a sudden, but, hey, they're super cute, right? Okay, and then another quick little booklet here in blue. 
and then one of the tags from the kit. Okay, let's go on the inside. So we have our little booklet here that flips out and a little tag here. It's got a little Tim Holtz um, flower on it. And um, I can't, I think we did that with the tissue a couple weeks ago, more like a month and a half ago, probably. Um, here is some of Amy's um, backgrounds in the kit or pages. Very cute, very cute. I love this kit. It's one of my all time favorites. Okay, and then this is the pocket we made together. Um, tag from the kit here. Another one of those little kits there with some kit ephemera on it. And then little bitty tiny tags here. And some stamping on there. Some more of the kit here. And then another one of those pockets we made, um, stacking pockets from the kit. Well, I we made them together stacking here. And then just a little tag, flip up, a little journaling card made with some of the kit ephemera. And then we've got these two tags here in this pocket, some of the kit ephemera here. Okay. And then this is some of Annie um, from Auntie M's. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so her Kool-Aid paper she sent me um, a couple months ago. It's more the kit ephemera here. It's more the kit there. And then we have our little um, booklet tuck spot here. And a big journaling card there. Isn't he adorable? I just think he's the cutest little thing ever. Oh, yeah, so more of the kit there. And I just backed that with, um, like, it's basically just like a photocopy of the papers that um, I dyed a couple of months ago um, with you guys. Okay, so more of the kit here. This is another one of the, uh, I used the kit tag here and just made a pocket here. And then that was from like the other side of that stacked pocket we made before. And that tag comes in the kit here. And a little journaling card we made a couple months ago here. It's more of that beautiful kit here. Another page. And this adorable page here. And then we made these envelopes a couple of weeks ago. So it has a journaling card in here. And some of the kit ephemera there. Oh, and for Wee Fairies, um, or I guess I don't think it's Wee Fairies. Um, it is. I don't remember the name now, but the, um, that color right there is part of the, um, her fairy uh, book. I can't remember. Sorry, Amy. Can't remember the name of that one. It's been a while since I got it and put it in there. So then this is another one of those little tags with some of um, her ephemera there and a cute little girl there. Two tags that come with the kit. And then this comes in the kit as well, and I just backed it onto some regular cardstock. Okay. A little bit more of the kit here with that cute little boy fairy. Okay, and then we just made this. So this is the paper clip. And then this folds open with a booklet here. Some writing space there, and it has a tag, or I'm sorry, a card that we made a couple months ago, one of the kits um, tags, and then a large journaling card here in the back. Okay. So 
ignore that adorable kit there. And then the back side of that one. And then we have this one. And then we have the pocket that we stacked together a couple weeks ago. Some of the kit ephemera. And then just some basic little ephemera pieces and cards that we've made over the last couple of months that kind of matched this. And then this big tag comes in the kit. So and I think, didn't I show you the back side here? I did, didn't I? Yep, because there's all kinds of booklets. So tons and tons and tons of journaling space and it ended up with 22 pages, I believe. Um, that'll be in the description in the Etsy listing. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for having patience while I got through this journal and the mini weeks of work and no play. But thanks for joining me and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.